2007 RS, The Adventure. Let's roll! Oh god, the nostalgia. What's up guys, it's um, Fear again. Because this is going to be my second take, second take at this update video kind of thing. Because the last time I did it, there was problems again. Like, I'm running into so many problems, it's getting really frustrating, but whatever. It's, it's not to interfere with our intimate relationship. Alright, so, um, saying, like, everything I did again from that last video. So, basically, my last video, I was shooting it while I was training my magic at Hill Giants with Earth Strike. And, uh, now was to show you that I wasn't only fishing, but I guess I'm fishing again. So, uh, there goes that idea. But, basically, what I was doing is I was using Earth Strike to train on Hill Giants so I could not lose so much money and I could also get hill, um, hit points XP because I'd be able to do lots of damage with Earth Strike and loot the big bones that they drop. And the big bones, I think they go for around 100 GP each, so I'm not losing too much money from from casting these spells and getting magic XP, because if I were to use Fire Strike, I would be using two air runes, and that's double the amount of Earth Strike. Like, in Earth Strike, I'm only... Uh, the only difference, I think, is I do two less damage like with fire strike I can hit 8 and with earth strike I can hit 6 so I feel like that's that difference isn't worth it for me to double the amount of air runes I'm using so that's why I was using earth strike and I used that all the way to 30 magic I used 1k mind runes and I was able to get to 30 magic and 1k air runes because I didn't use any fire strikes at all um like the whole cost for that like mind runes 2200 each so it's 22k I spent like 35k to get 30 magic and I probably got like three inventories of big bones or maybe four inventories and then each of those at a hundred each that's maybe like 11k or 12k so it's not bad it's only like a 20k loss for 30 magic and I can use Varrock teleport now so that's pretty huge and uh other than that, I, I haven't been updating you guys so frequently because I haven't been doing much. Honestly, I've just been cooking and fishing. And I've caught like 2,000, like 3,000 sorties and like 3,000 tuna, a whole bunch of trout and stuff. My fishing level isn't that high, but honestly, that's all I have been doing, just fishing and cooking. And it would be boring if I were to just keep updating you on that, that repetitive stuff. But I, I really like fishing because I'm able to do like fishing while doing other things. Like I could be rendering or editing a video while fishing because fishing is like a skill which I don't need to do much but the problem with with me kind of half-assing and AFKing fishing is that when I get a random like if this strange plant was mine and I was rendering or editing my video I wouldn't know it and I would just hear the noise of um, the the strange plant attacking me like if that was me I wouldn't have known, and then the people would suddenly start accusing me of botting because I didn't really pay attention to the random. Like, although, if they really knew anything about bots, they would know that bots can easily solve randoms. So, I, I believe that when a player doesn't respond to a random, it's more, more or less reinforcing the fact that they aren't a bot because bots can easily solve randoms. And there's lots of people multitasking and AFKing, so if they don't respond to a random event, that that's just saying that they're not paying that much attention to RuneScape. Rather than if it was a bot, which would probably solve the random fine and keep going. That shouldn't be the place where you start accusing people of botting, honestly. It's that I think if you know if you knew about botting and if you can get that from the video, you'll realize that just because a player doesn't respond to random doesn't automatically mean that they're botting. Cause bots can solve randoms. So uh yeah, enough about bots, cause bots are bad news. I'm not saying bots are a good thing or anything like that. I don't, I don't bot. I'm not going to bot. I don't want to get banned. And, uh, I want to, I want to have fun. Like, this music, this game is just great. I love playing it. I've been playing it a lot. Got up to 67 fishing. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going with fishing until I can catch sharks, but I'm still not going to catch sharks right away at, like, 76. Because I'm probably going to keep catching tuna. I need, like, 8k tuna or something. So I can get 74 cooking, and with 74 cooking, I can cook lobsters flawlessly, and then I'll start catching some lobbies, 
And then I'll keep cook cooking lobbies till 81 fish, 81 cooking, and then at 81 cooking, I can cook sorties flawlessly with cooking gauntlets. So when I can do that, I think I'll be like just rolling in the dough. I'll get so much money. I'll be, I'll be like well set to get everything else done, like mining and smithing. Probably not. I won't do mining for a while because honestly, mining is like, it's not. It's not a fun skill to do when you're competing with lots of other people, like me, level 1, with a bronze pickaxe trying to mine some copper or whatever, against some other just jerk with an addy pick who's just going to keep stealing my ore. It's, it's not fun. It's just one of those skills that when there's more players, it, it gets significantly worse and not something you really want to invest your time into. So uh, for my magic, I need to get that to 55, but I, I'm not sure if I want to do that now. I, I just want to like, take a break, kind of. Because I'm going to be rendering and uploading this video after this. So I wanted to get to a chill spot where I could just fish and ra rake in some money while making this awesome video for you guys. Um, on top of that, I wanted to say that well, it's been a week. I'm trying to think of what, what, I, what I was going to say, what I've said in the last video. There's uh, quite a few topics I had there. Um, take a minute here. Oh, yeah, about the skills that I can train and why I chose to train the skills that I did. So, um, if you guys are wondering why I just went straight magic and didn't do, like, maybe waterfall quests and start training my strength and attack or anything, or my range, it's because, honestly, I f there's, a, there's a few reasons why I chose magic. Like, I think magic is more of, like, one of the, more of the nostalgic skills, so, that I... I felt like it would be fun to just go maging at hill giants, and I, I did enjoy it, and um, I also wanted lots of hit points XP, so do, like, dealing out the damage with strike spells, instead of like al alking or something, just casting earth strike and hitting sixes gives me tons of health, like hit point XP, so I was able to get 9 levels from just magic, I haven't done any quests at all, so um, all this is just from training magic, and the reason I didn't do attack and strength is because... Um, I, I'm going to be a 60 attack, 1 defense peer, so I want to get all the XP I can from quests first, so I don't limit myself later on. If I limit myself later on by training my attack, like, myself to 40, I probably won't be able to do as many quests as I would have been able to do if I started questing at level 1. So, I could be training strength right now, because my strength isn't going to stop at 60, like my attack will. It's going to go all the way up to 99. I could keep training that but I don't think it's going to be effective to start training my strength at one attack so when I feel like training my melee my melee stats I'll probably just go straight do waterfall quest and then I'll be 30 attack 30 strength and then from there I'll continue training my training my strength and then doing quests to slowly bring my attack up to like 54 or something and then I'll just train the rest of the way I think that's the like if you're trying to make a 60 attack peer you have to do it that way it's the same thing same thing goes for a zerker peer you never want to train your defense if you're a zerker peer you want to do your quests all the way there until you get like 41 or 42 defense and then you train that last little bit and if you were playing on EOC or something, I, I wouldn't even recommend training it at all because they're going to be releasing new quests which give defense XP. So you want to you keep your defense as low as possible and never train it if they're releasing new quests. But in the case of 2007 RuneScape where they're not releasing new quests, I think it's it's a safe bet to do your quest. And then when you know that there's no more quests that you can do um, to get more experience in your skill, then that's when it's safe to just train it. Like, I, there's tons of people who are just so eager to train their attack to 60 and then wield that dragon dagger and then they can be the pure, but that's not the way to do it. You need to quest and you need to use your experience wisely so you don't end up screwing yourself up later. It's, it's a huge part of making it pure appropriately, and I, ha I have my fair share of fails, and I, I don't want you guys to run through that. Like... You have to quest, quest smart, and watch your experience. Don't don't make sure you make sure you don't go over things. So honestly, the only skills I could have trained would be magic, range, and strength because those three skills they don't have a limit. I can just go to 99 and I'll be a fine pure, a fine one defense pure, one defense 60 attack pure with 99 all those skills. Like there's no problem with me training that. But a skill like prayer where I I want to keep that probably at maybe 52 at max and 43 preferably or 44. Uh, I don't want to be training that and just burying the big bones that I get from hill giants.
because I want to keep that level as low as I can to be the best peer I can. Because there's tons of quests that... Um, oh, God, I almost got hit by that water pool there. There's tons of quests that give prayer XP, like Holy Grail, um, like tons, of, tons of things that I need, like prerequisites for recipe for disaster. I don't know, like, off of my head, but there's a lot of quests that give prayer XP, and you don't want to kind of screw that all up and go over 52 prayer because that would just be terrible. You don't you don't want to bury bones and just start training to get protect melee early. You gotta quest it. And for those reasons, like you gotta quest it keeping your um, XP moderated, that's why I am not training anything other than magic, range or strength right now. Like next up I'm probably gonna keep training my magic, get like fifty five magic and following that probably range and I just absolutely despise questing if you guys didn't know that already, so I'm I'm trying I'm gonna try and keep the that's such a troll, dude. They got the whirlpool right on top of two two of the harpoon spawns. Harpoon spots. So as I was saying, um, uh, what was I saying? I just lost my train of thought here. Uh, range, strength, mage. All I can train right now because I can't quest and I don't want to quest. So when I do feel we'll get into mood to quest and I can't do anything else like alking or training magic or training range, when I'm like totally in that boxed out position where I can't train those effectively anymore, that's when I'm gonna start doing quests like waterfall quests and those RFD quests to get mythical gloves, and um, that's when I'll start training my melee skills. Like I'm not gonna train my melee at all until I start questing. And uh, ooh, I just I just had a thought. Quick question for my viewers. Who are watching this video? If you watched it to this far, and you know anything about one defense peers, you guys may know that it's possible for one defense peer, to, one defense peers, to somehow achieve adamant gloves from recipe for disaster. I've seen some one defense peers get it before. I know you have to do something with a tree, a spirit tree, and then teleport to Apatol or something, and then you can do that monkey, the monkey subquest for recipe for disaster, and you can somehow get above mythical gloves and get adamant gloves. But that was all as a result of a patch that happened sometime. It might have been in 2007. It might have been out now. I'm not sure. But if you guys do know if I can get Addy Gloves and if it's possible now, uh, let me know. Do let me know. Like, I really want to get Addy Gloves. That would be great. Be one of those pro peers who have Addy Gloves with one defense. So if you guys know anything about how I can achieve uh, Addy Gloves with one defense, and or if it's possible at all, just leave it in the comments or... Private message me on RuneScape. Like this guy, Diamond Zen right here. He's one of my viewers, and he sent me a message saying, "Nice videos." And I, we're like bros now. We chatted for like a good, uh, a good bit. And uh, yeah, he's one of my fans, and he's on my friends list. So I could be one of you guys. Just I'm, I'm lonely. Add me. My private chat's on. You guys can shoot me messages whenever, and then we can talk. And we can be like this guy, Diamond Zen. Uh, I think I managed to talk him into being a one defense peer with me. So later on, me and him can be like 60 attack, and then we can just be one defense peers that go do awesome stuff and multi together. And then it's great because he he's one of my viewers, so he'll be able to enjoy my content as well. And he's supporting me throughout this whole thing. And he wants to be my friend and make my time on 06 Escape even better than it already is, if that's possible. So yeah, he's like being the ultimate supporter here. If you guys want to be like him, if you guys want to be my friend, like, just hop on O6 Escape and add me, because, yeah, O6 Escape is sweet, and you guys all need to be part of it, and you guys should all play with me, and I, I would like to get to know you guys as well. So, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you guys later. Oh, quick thing before I leave, there's going to be a new, a new sneaky, um, video about fishing and the community of the people who are fishing and what they talk about and what I've experienced people to talk about in RuneScape. So it's going to be kind of a joke, a funny video. And if you guys if, if you guys know what jokes are, they they aren't meant to be taken seriously. So if you don't think it's funny, then that's fine. But it's, I tried and in my opinion, it's a pretty funny topic and you guys shouldn't be offended by it. So yeah, with that said, new video, like a new troll video kind of coming out in a little bit, probably before the next update video, so be looking forward to that, and uh, I'll see you guys all next time, probably in the update video, if I talk at all in that video, I'm probably just add some music or something, but if I don't see you, if I don't talk to you in my next 
troll video thing. I will see you in my next update video. So, see you guys later.